Hello, my name is Abraham Cruz Villegas, and um, I just want to say that the, during the first time I went to New York in the late 1980s, I, one of my priorities was to visit the kitchen and to attend any of the events there, as I knew from before that it's um, it was a great uh, place for intersections in arts and different practices that now maybe are we, we see them as conventional and I heard the names of many people before like uh, uh, Laurie Anderson, Annie Sprinkle, Lydia Lunch, Trisha Brown, Christian Markley, John Sorn, Brian Eno, Lydia Lunch, many 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 people that are still super important in transforming our language as artists and as uh, humans and uh, so when recently um, I was invited to do something there and I was told by Tim, you can use the theater for making an exhibition or you can uh, use the gallery for making a performance. I understood it, it, it was still the same spirit in terms of crossing boundaries and being able to, to feel free. Then I decided to to invite uh, my dear friend Andres Garcia Nestritla and the uh, beautiful, great choreographer, dancer, Barbara Fulkes to present their uh, kind of an exercise we've been working uh, with no real purpose. And then it um, happened in the best of the ways, uh, trying to make something in the, in the stage of, of the kitchen. And then it happened that my friend Andres Garcia was not able to, to go because he had no American visa. And then the team of the kitchen and people in Mexico, like Haru Heshiki, succeeded on making a transmission, a live transmission of the performance from the kitchen in Mexico City and the music performed by Andres Cuacharas, my friend, in Mexico after he saw the video from the transmission in the kitchen and then transmitted back so we could listen to it. Uh, so it became something that broke boundaries uh, in a literal way. And it also uh, confirmed that borders and limits and uh, any possible frontier that is given to us can be pierced, can be shaken, can be destroyed. This is now the moment in which not only because of the epidemic, the pandemics and the big uh, unexpected situation we all, in which we all humans are encapsulated and enclosed with our families. Uh, we have to deal with this new situation, but institutions like the kitchen and other uh, uh, pillars of our contemporary cultures are in danger. So we have to support each other, we have to be together. This is the moment for helping and to stay together, creating new ways of community and trying to find a way to go out, so to be in again. Thank you very much, The Kitchen. Thank you, guys. Bye.